Holly James and Joey Giuliano. Now, I've given these guys certain attributes, like Ollie's a brilliant distributor, um, but just not particularly good at really much else. Giuliano is probably who I'm going to send out on loan. I may even send out Ollie James on loan, honestly. Over time, I will uh, show you guys in depth everyone's stats, but we're going to stick to the heroes for now. So, just as an idea, Ollie James has hugely high aggression, um, just to give these guys a bit of personality. You know, you can see what, where they're good, where they're not. So, Mojtek is a very flexible, very good reflexes goalkeeper. Um, not a massive fan of the goalkeeper kit. They look like referees, but um, they don't allow you to customize that. So I use the uh, the creator team thing in FIFA 22, but I'll explain a bit more how how I kind of did it in a second. Uh, Joey Giuliano, uh, he's overall just not not so good, but um, I think I did kind of randomize him. He was our fourth goalkeeper at the end of the day. Um, these guys with the faces are the leftover players from the creator club thing. Uh, we will slowly get rid of them. They are not players we're going to use. Um, in fact, let me just explain to you how I did that now, just to get it out of the way. Uh, especially if you want to do this yourself. It takes a long time, but this is the only way that I could think to do it. I wanted us to have our actual own badge. Um, as you can see in the top
use him. I think I'll use him in the first game. These guys are like leftover players from, from the creative club. We have Ethan Barber, fullback. Probably will loan this guy out. Won't really get any game time this season for us unless we change formation. Uh, Charlie Bursa, right wing back. Also might loan this guy out.
thinks maybe some of the technical prowess of Billy Castle has been mixed up for it with his general well-roundedness. Um, so yeah, two really good players. Jim Bell, backup centre attacking midfielder alongside Ibrahim Axim. And, uh, and actually, yeah, also Dawson Malloy and Lewis William have got four attacking mids. Some of these may need to be converted into um, central mids proper. Um, and I also may just loan out a couple. So I might loan out Dawson Malloy. Uh, oh, sorry, Williams. Lewis Williams, I apologise. Sorry. I was just listing off based on the uh, position on the left. Lewis is uh, one of our heroes. So Dawson Malloy, I think, will we'll let go. Then Jim Bell and Actim, we will see how they perform as backups in the first half of the season. Actim, pretty quick player, decent dribbler. Um, Jim Bell is a brilliant passer of the ball. Um, look forward to using him. He's a really very, very good on the long pass. So would be interesting to use him in central mid proper actually. Um, cool. Okay, Lewis Williams. One of our heroes. Good, quick attacking midfielder. He will be rotating with Kerr, but also one of them will fill in for central midfield here and there. So, you know, again, it's not going to be full on rotation. It will be sort of part rotation mostly. First team football for everyone. Um, the heroes, that is. A bit shorter, but uh, yeah, a really, really good player and very good finisher, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 72 finishing. Again, decent long shots. I might have given too many people decent long shots, but they're not outrageously good, so it's not too big of an issue, I suppose. Uh, but a good passer of the ball as well. So he'll be very, very useful. Um, John o Chang, our uh, backup winger. Um, Trying to remember if there's anything in too interesting about him. Decent pace on him. Um, now, hopefully I don't butcher the pronunciation again, but Leo Hovi. I've butchered it. Um, now I saw a news article at the start that was saying that he is in for a bad season. And I don't know why or where they've got that from. <laughs> but um, Leo is just a wonderful, wonderful player. Highest overall in the team. Again, not sure if that's really reflective of his... Of how much better he is than everyone. Or if that's just because of the stats he has and his particular position. But... Right winger, left foot, fast, good dribbler, good passer. Um, maybe lacks a little bit in the shooting department, so finishing things off might be an issue for him. But um, I've made him mostly a on the ball player, so he's fairly short, not particularly good in the air, more that strong. I mean, he is young, so there's room to improve, but really fast, comparatively speaking. Um, good stamina, so he will be filling that right wing spot fairly securely on his own, I imagine. There's not much competition there. Uh, maybe we'll stick a striker out there sometimes, but I'll show you what my plans are for the um, for the formation and the tactics later anyway. We'll sort that out together. Um, but yeah, decent dribbler, but the pace is well, actually a very good dribbler, but on the ball and ball control and things like that is fairly good. Um, actually finishing is 72, I think long shots is bad, which is where that's coming from, but yeah, overall, super, super good player, looking forward to using this guy, um, Will Adams, this is a funny guy, so I kind of got through maybe five or six substitutes, and I started thinking, um, well, actually, even those ones, even those five previous substitutes that I made, the, the, I wanted them to all be distinct. I don't want to just have like constant default players, so I thought I need to give everyone, the heroes and the substitutes, something about them that makes them identifiable, like a specific attribute, or just physically very distinguishable. So, Will Adams is a really, really short, kind of um, almost messy esque designed player, but uh, really short, and I've made him have that kind of classic like uh, memed, memed barber look. So he's got this quiffed ginger hair, big ginger beard with a big handlebar, almost handlebar moustache. Um, and he is just fantastic on the ball. <laughs> like, this guy is the best dribbler in the team by far, <laughs> by far. But he is stinky at everything else physically nothing about him but he is terrible defense 
Sonic can keep hold of the ball and dribble a bit. As you can see, not nice player to look at there, but when it comes to dribbling, oh my lord, 19 dribbling, 78 ball control. Um, he will just get on the ball and terrorise, hopefully, defenders who will just be shocked by how good this guy is on the ball. Now he is really weak and not got great balance, so chances are you could get knocked off the ball quite easily but hopefully they can't even get close to it with that dribbling um, so yeah I think it's kind of funny hopefully you guys do too it gives him a bit of an interesting quality to him and that's what other uh, substitutes and reserves have too you'll have it will come to love all these players Jarno Jonsson so he's actually 16 years old didn't mean to do that I'm meant to be 19 I suppose now he's got even more growth. Um, in fairness, Yano did donate uh, the highest tier, but so did the, uh, so did someone else, a couple of other people. So um, I do apologise for making him 16. That was not intentional, but um, it would uh, take a lot of work now to uh, uh, like I'm talking several hours of work to uh, just make him 19. So I don't think it would make too much of a difference, really. His growth will be higher at the start of the season, but um, I guess, again, it gives a bit of lore. He's just come out of the academy or something, we'll say. <laughs> um, but fast player, physically fairly good, uh, good finisher of the ball. Um, I guess the only downside to him is that I gave him four-star weak foot rather than all the other heroes who have uh, five-star. So in return for being 16, he is slightly better, slightly worse on his weak foot equate um, you know very overall very good player mentally not uh, maybe that makes up for him being young because he's just not very good uh, mentally but physically and uh, technically he's a pretty gifted player I like the look of him a lot finishing is superb um, at 80 but everything else is maybe just you know lagging behind a little bit fairly fast as well but uh, things like dribbling and whatnot got some work to do. Lower flyer, backup, um, uh, striker, fast, I remember, very fast, 87 acceleration, 85 pace, but that is pretty much all he's got going on. Um, there's also another striker who I made fairly similarly, but I don't think we've signed him yet. I don't think we've signed him yet, I'll show you in a second. Renzo v Vandenberg, now I've tried to make our hero strikers complicated so you've got the fairly fast, fairly technically uh, good Jana Jonsson followed up by a, um, maybe just slightly, I don't actually, I think Vandenberg is more technical, more technical, yeah, so much better dribbler, um, better on the ball, a very, very good penalty taker, uh, and then you also have Flores who is, um, they're all six foot tall. They all preferred one to be six two, six foot tall. But Clemente Flores is left footed, also a brilliant dribbler as well, and he has got really good pace. Um, so you can see that their stats do uh, complement each other quite nicely. Where some of them lack, the other ones make up. And uh, yeah, Clemente Flores, Renzo Vandenberg, and Jana Jonsson hopefully will create a wonderful partnership up front but that's the team we're going to get rid of all those leftover uh, build your team players of course um, transfer up I'll show you the five players or four players we've not signed yet Benjamin Phillips back up right wing Henry Tawo Tawo um, I think it actually means uh, I don't know T-O-A-O is meant to is meant to be like an acronym for something, but I can't remember what it is. Um, Callum Woodburn, back up centre back, and Ethan Young, back up striker, who I think is really, really quick 92 pace, 89 sprint speed. But for today, these guys will just remain in the transfer hub. I will buy them as soon as I can. Um, but for now, we're going to move on.
you want to do particularly well um, throughout the series. I'd really, really love to know if you've got a player who you see going right to the top, sort of thing, someone who you want to succeed in the team particularly. And also, what are your aspirations for the start of the season, or for the, really for the entire season? As you can see, we've spent nearly a hundred million of our one billion um, on players. So, I mean, everyone cost roughly one to five million. So, um, that's where that happened. <laughs> that's where all that money went. But our first game of the season has uh, finally arrived. Cheltenham Town, it looks like. Sam Stevens, you can go. I don't even know who you are. Hopefully we're going to get rid of the vast majority of people. Um, Cheltenham is out. First game of the season. Okay, I'm excited now. So, we've got Leo in the office. I think I'll stick to calling you Leo, even though I love your second name. I think I'm pronouncing it so poorly. You can uh, maybe re-correct me or something, or I'll listen to that voice message again. <laughs> um, but he says, boss, I know I didn't have a great pre-season. I didn't know that. There are reasons for that. I wasn't feeling 100%, but I'm over it now. It's a, it's a shame to hear. God, uh, if you give me a chance against Cheltenham, I'll show you just what I can bring to the team. Yes, Leo, that's what I like to hear. All these guys can uh, can shut up. Oh, man, an absolute nobody wants to play today. He's not going to. Um, so let's get into our tactics now. The way I'm going to play is like this. I'm going to stick a Kofi, a Kofi, a Kofi at uh, left wing and then Mulaney is going to kind of make up for it <coughs> in left mid. McRainall, I want all of my centre-backs to be as split as possible. 
so defensive style is going to be uh, just balanced width is going to be nice and wide because we want those centre backs to split um, depth I guess we'll just push up a little bit build up play is going to be uh, we're going to go a fast build up because I want to use those attacking players we're going to go forward runs that's just how I like to play width nice and wide Guys, give me your opinion on the tactics as well. I want to, uh, I want to bring you guys into every single part of this corners. I want a fair amount of players in there because we've got some big guys. Free kicks, I'll just leave like that. Rolls. Okay, so let's start off. Rolls. Captain is going to be Jonsson. Jana Jonsson is our captain. Hell of a man, the guy that first signed up and got everything started and with the uh, Lions tier as well also 16 years old so yeah interesting he's got quite a few uh, little parts to him that make him an interesting player um, left free kick we will make I might make that Rubinho right free kick I also honestly might make that Rubinho um, uh, we'll just see how it goes long free kick Rubinho left corner Maybe I'll go Mulaney on that side and right. I will go. I might even go Rubinho again, actually. Um, or maybe I'll go because I kind of want Rubinho in the centre. So maybe I'll go for Sharp on the right. Uh, yeah. Penalties looks like probably Vandenberg is the best on that. Could even. Oh no, actually it is, it is Vandenberg, specifically on penalty, so I'll put Vandenberg. Um, instructions, let's go. Uh, we want both of our guys running in behind, I think. So, let's go get in behind. And uh, get in behind. And I'll kind of, I might actually leave everyone else like this, sharp. I will go, I'll leave them, I'll just leave them balanced and see how they do. I think that's what we'll do, we'll leave them unbalanced. Um, and you guys can help me out maybe if we need to uh, change some of the specifics a little bit. So let's get into it. First lineup: Valencia in goal, Jensen, Warmer, Rubinio at the back, Mulaney, Castle, Sharp and Ashofi in midfield, Williams, Vandenberg and Johnson basically up front together against a decent children town so let me quickly just change uh, the uh, output of my computer so that I can see the uh, the screen properly and ooh, let's get into this guys let's get into this I am so excited to get into this game I have been waiting for a long time now I gave us as you can probably see the, this is this, the Tinkle Drome is the name of the stadium which I really like. Um, this is the design, a yellow seats, a green kind of uh, rim to everything. Um, that's our badge green and or gold, gold and green, green and gold. I don't know why, I just thought it looked nice. Um, and I've gone with the biggest stadium possible because I thought we were going to need to grow into it. So there we go. So here we go. We've, we've still got our training kit on for some reason. Um, I'm against Children Town. Let's go, let's go guys. Ooh, that was a, a heavy touch to start off with. I need to remember that I'm not playing with like absolutely top tier players yet. They will become amazing. But for now, uh, they've got a huge amount of room to improve. I think I'm on a legendary mode. Um, I didn't want to go uh, too crazy to start off with. I'm not an amazing FIFA player. Um, and I know that uh, FIFA career mode can be quite challenging, although they give the ball away quite easily to start off with, and Jonsson can play, oh, not a good ball, not a good ball to Afofi, Leo Sharp, not Leo Sharp, Elliot Sharp, ooh, see they're actually getting in quite easily at the moment, aren't they, that's nice, good ball to Renzo, can he overlap with Mulaney, we know that Mulaney's got good ability, and that's not a corner as it come off him afterwards that is very very annoying these two strikers Vandenberg and Jonsson are going to be so so integral oh nice nicely up there was that sharp or was that castles 
Wormer, look at the size of that guy. That is ridiculous. What a lovely ball to Mullaney. Ball inside to Renzo. Williams on it. Oh, he might actually be left footed. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of getting to terms with these players. If you guys want a uh, specific number as well, let me know. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that done for you because I think I've, it's been kind of randomised. I did put your specific numbers if you gave them, but then obviously it's been randomised since I've uh, transferred the player. Uh, that's a nice ball. Can he find its way through? positions and I have to say already I'm liking Mullaney quite a lot. Sharp is a is a that was not a great pass but that was, but that was probably my fault really. Nice and then Rubinho can bring the ball out. We know this is what Rubinho is going to be doing this season. Lovely ball out wide to Mullaney who is always in the right spot and that's made its way I 
we'll see, we'll see. We are just playing quite well, to be fair. Um, whatever, when, whenever I play, oh, that is lovely by Williams. Nice bit of pace, but they do recover well. Um, whenever I play career mode, I always feel like if I win, I feel like I need the, the, the difficulty to be higher, and then when I lose, I feel like I need to bring the difficulty uh, lower. And they have had a few opportunities. We are generally, I think, a better time, better team. Well, well gathered there by Valencia. Rubinho will do this all game. He'll play this sp sprawling ball. Um, and that has come to Williams, whose shot is uh, not so good. Probably shouldn't have uh, actually shot from there. And there's a lot of interchanging interchange between our um, centre-backs. That's a pretty poor pass there. But that's a nice pass through to Vandenberg. I don't think he's going to quite get on the end of it. Nice recovery from their centre back, and uh, that should be uh, that should be half time, and it is one nil up. Um, scrappy goal. We've certainly been the better team. We we definitely have been the better team. Um, a couple of chances on the counter from uh, from Cheltenham Town that I saw. Mulaney, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to bring off. I'm going to bring on um, one of our heroes. So I'm going to bring on Kerr on the left. We lose a fair amount of defensiveness there. But I'm happy to make that sacrifice, I think, because we are. I can maybe put Sharp on the left. Uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna put no I'm gonna leave Kurt there. I'm gonna put Kurt on the left to see how he does. If not we can switch out for our left wing back there. And um, I think it's, it's Adam Healy. And um, Oh that's nice. Leo playing a nice ball to Williams. Williams has been just all over the place today. In a good way, I mean. Um oh, almost getting through. Maybe we will up it to uh, ultimate, or oh, <laughs> he's been sent there, Jensen by Atete. Plays it back, it's a nice ball through again, Atete. And that is one all. and that is one all. I think that's Alfie May. It is Alfie May, the guy I was talking to you guys about. Ex-Doctor Rovers, that's my... My personal favourite team, other than of course uh, Dingle Town FC. But just as I was saying, we we might need to uh, we might have to up the difficulty. They make it one all. Alfie May is terrorising our defenders again, and they're through potentially. It's a wonderful last ditch tackle by um, by Benhenge Warmer. He's not just a pretty face; he's also a great defender. But they have got another opportunity here, and it is a lovely. Lovely save by Angle Valencia. Yeah, he's saying to the vendors, what are you guys doing? Absolutely atrocious defending at the moment, boys. Three lads at the back. We need more from you and Valencia. Maybe should have collected that. Maybe should have collected that, but honestly, again, we need someone to claim this ball because Cheltenham are absolutely feeling it now and they are playing it around us like we're not even there and it's another save. Angel Valencia What on earth are we doing? Someone needs to grab this game by the scruff of the neck and say Look, we're not gonna just roll over now We're fa facing our first bit of adversity This league, we're in this league Because we knew that League 2 would probably be too easy uh, We are probably a fair underdog Generally speaking, we should be beating a team like Cheltenham But, I mean, they're playing it around us like we're not even there and Angel Maria has to pull out another beautiful save. There's another corner to Cheltenham. That this time it's away, but they're still on the ball. Is that offside? Please be offside. It's not. Jensen closing his man down. He can't get to him. He's around him, but Warmer saving the day once again. Bench Warmer, but we've given the ball to them straight away. And it is possibly going to be another shot. It is. It is an absolutely. What am I doing? That was my fault. And that is two one. I have absolutely screwed that up. Oh my god! What is going on? They are just flooding forward, and I cannot stop the Robinho with <laughs> a terrible pass. It was my own fault. I 
thought you could get that pass through. But within the space of five, ten minutes, suddenly we are 2 1 down and things are not looking so good anymore. Williams plays the ball out of Kerr. I mean, it, we just literally couldn't get our foot on the ball whatsoever. Uh, the ball is played through there to Johnson. He has a good strike on the ball, but suddenly, suddenly we're facing a defeat, our first home game of the season. Leo will play the ball, looking for Bench Warmer, whose head, <laughs> it's like it's come off a breeze block, it's straight over the bar. But, we, we maybe we just have to look for corners, we need to get something out of this first game, otherwise I would be hugely, hugely disappointed. Leo a bit out of position from that corner. We're actually struggling now. Now the pitch just seems so big, and now we're struggling to get the ball off them. Ball, lovely ball played over the top there. Bit of a bit of a dirty challenge, I would say, but overlapping with Castles is a poor pass from Renzo. Renzo playing to bench warmer, who is is saying, you know what, forget it, guys, just give the ball to me. That ball is played to Billy Castles. We know he's got good ability. Renzo, can he header it back in? And it, have they given a penalty? Is that a penalty? Oh my god, I thought it was. That The way that transitioned, it really seemed like a penalty. Rubinho, nice header, but Leo can get on it, and that's again his tenacity to get on the ball, like he did with the goal. And now Williams, but he's on his wrong foot. Can Billy Castles form some sort of opportunity? We need to make some changes. I'm going to put Kurt in for Castles. Castles can come off for Healy. And honestly, let's bring on Will let's bring on Adams for Williams, I think. Or even maybe for Vandenberg. And those are our, those are our substitutes made. Actually, no. That's stupid. Let's bring on Flores. Let's bring on Flores. I think we have to. But actually, Healy. I'm not going to bring on. I'm going to bring on Adams instead. And Adams centre attacking spot, Williams can move out to the edge, um, I just want that, that dribbling ability, see what it can bring us, we are forming opportunities but just not clear cut ones, but Flores on for Renzo, Renzo's not been um, the best I would say, he's definitely, what sort of pass was that, what sort of pass that they've turned into Real Madrid, Ben Juma loses the ball and it could be three, Oh my god, and that's a terrible pass. That is a terrible, terrible pass. Looking for Flores, and he's not going to get onto it. What a turnaround this game. I think that the minutes just seem to be flying by now. And we can't get the ball off them. They are just playing so, so well. In fairness to Cheltenham, they have played so well to bring it back, and they've just been disastrous for us. I see, I see Leo making that run, but he's pretty well marked, unfortunately. Yes, yes. trying to keep it ASMR. I think that is the captain, Yano Johnson, who is absolutely leathered in. What? You know what, it is our dribbler who brought that ball forward, laid off by Flores into the path of Yano Johnson, who has smashed it. 
Jones tries to play it back inside. I thought he would lose the ball. Probably should have tried to hold on to it. Ben Hinch warmer. Just not got the pace to get in front of his man. And it's returned back to him. And that is a absolute lifeline. That is a lifeline there. You know, you want to just hold on to the ball. Honestly, we've got four minutes of added time, which is ridiculous. Return there. Return ball play at back. We don't need to lose the ball now. We don't need to lose the ball now. That's a nice bit of play, honestly. Return it back through somehow. Oh, Flores with the opportunity. There's a minute and a half to go. I felt a bit sweaty holding on to it, but maybe I should have just taken it to the corner. The ball is played up front. Hopefully we can win that ball on the header. A Kofi goes flying in. Trying to just foul him, honestly. I didn't, didn't, didn't mind if he got a red. The red Robinho, go on. Oh my god, I didn't mean to foul him in that way. Well, I did. He's <laughs> two yellow cards there, I think. Get the ball out. What a save. What a save by Valencia. We are a minute and a half over at a time now. What a save. Valencia is kept us in this game at times. Ref, blow that whistle. Blow the whistle. Yes. Yes. What a game. There were some heroes <laughs> and some villains in that game for sure. Oh my god. Leo Hovi with the first goal of our entire career really. Scrappy one, but made it 1 0. Then, after an Alfie May um, goal, and then George Lloyd making it 2 1 in that 13 minute spell of just craziness. Look at that four saves from Angel Valencia. They just dominated us for about 15 minutes. We finally managed to get the ball under control, and in the final 10 minutes, Yano Johnson and Clemente Flores with two wonderful, wonderful goals. I have to say, Adams made a big coming off the bench, a wonderful finish from Jonsson, and then Clemente Flores with a wonderful headed goal into the bottom left hand corner, guys we're going to 